In this video, we're going to talk about the methods the scanner uses to position itself. The first one is targets only, and you place targets on or around the object, and you can even use raised um, object hold target holders. And it uses solely the targets to relate itself to its position to the scanned object. You can also use occasional ones and tar with targets and geometry and it tracks by the geometry of the object but where there is not much geometry you can add a few targets to help it out. Finally you can just use one target on an object with lots of geometry so that you can just return to a point to restart scanning if you need to. And the remaining method is targets geometry and texture. This is used when you don't want to or can't put targets on a colored object because you want to acquire the color underneath and it creates natural features and tracks via the differences in color on the object and the geometry if it has it can be used as well. And finally if you're going to be scanning a human being you should consider using the semi-rigid object checkbox that gives a little bit of flexibility to the scan algorithm to account for slight movements in the human while scanning.